What's going on, Jerome's? Minnesota Fighting Vikings superstar edge rusher Daniil, the real deal hunter, uh, is still proving that he's one of the best edge rushers in the game. Currently tied for second in the league in sacks with six and has been the source of uh, the only real source of consistent pressure uh, for the Vikings defense so far this season. And uh, this offseason, uh, he and the Vikings, Kwesi Dofa Mensa, worked things out and uh, did up his revised deal uh, where it brought him up to 17 million bucks, which is still massively underpaid, uh, but allows him to become a free agent in 2024, uh, as well as includes a no-tag clause, which is important for what the Vikings are deciding on what's going to happen. So now, as we're hurtling towards uh, the trade deadline and the Vikings season is teetering on the brink, allegedly at 1-4, and four, you know, the question is, do the Vikings consider trading Daniil Hunter? And suffer the consequences now i am very much pro paid to kneel uh you have a, a superstar at a premium position uh who is only going to be 29 uh later on this month and every single edge rusher that you draft to bring in that you hope you hope is going to be a fraction of daniel hunter he's still firmly in his prime uh, and that's where i'm at right now but if the right offer comes along, the right offer comes along. And uh, according to our guy, Darren Doogie Wolfson of KSTP Sports, there's one team that's a little bit hot for teacher. This is from Bring Me the News. Uh, the logical move for the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, would be to look to add a pass rusher uh, – uh, Let's try that again. Add to their pass rush rotation. Dots continue to be connected in this vein with longtime Minnesota reporter Darren Dougie Wolfson uh, saying on Score North Podcast that the Jaguars have shown interest in Pro Bowl pass rusher Daniel Hunter. Quote, I know this. Jacksonville has all sorts of interest in Daniel Hunter. What are the what are they willing to offer? Can you complete that trade? Wolfson said uh, the Vikings are saying a one and four. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, Dugan continued. In this moment, I just don't sense anything is on the cusp, Wolfson, Wolfson said about the Vikings going to seller mode. So let's see how this Bears game plays out. Let's see how the Niners game plays out. Uh, then the week heading into October 31st, uh, I think that is when uh, things could get interesting. And as of right now, I mean, the Vikings, like we said, are sitting at allegedly 1-4. and four. Uh, The Bears game coming up, it's going to be tough in Chicago, but the Vikings are favored. The Niners... Monday Night Football, and then you're up at the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers to round things out. Now, the trade deadline is on Halloween, Tuesday, October 31st. October 29th is actually Daniil's uh, birthday. Oh, it's, it's his golden birthday. Let's go. Let's go, man. Uh, Daniil's going to have 17 sacks against the Packers. But, uh, you know, the whole question is, can they make a deal? Uh, Vikings and the Jaguars and Daniil Hunter. Now, Daniil has been a stud where, uh, yes, there was some concern about the herniated disc uh, in his neck that cost him the 2020 season. Also had a torn pec that uh, cost him the bulk of the 2021 season. But last year, he proved that he could stay healthy, led the team in sacks to 10 and a half, got a revised deal, currently has six, uh, and is uh, the pivot of the pass rush for the purple uh, so far this season. But, you know, l like we said, the thing that complicates things is that if the Vikings don't see a future with Daniil, uh, again, they can't tag and trade him, uh, so he would likely leave a free agency, leaving with the Vikings with likely at best a third-round compensatory pick. So that's the line of demarcation. Also, the Vikings wouldn't get that third-round pick until uh, the 2025 draft, so that does factor in. And I, I think that Daniil, for all the reasons we listed, uh, is firmly in his prime. He plays a run well, is a great pass rusher, is a great teammate, uh, and I, I think that that would require some premium draft compensation. And the Jaguars' front seven, uh, yes, you got Josh Allen, who's a stud in his own right, uh, looking to get himself paid as well. Uh, Trevon Walker, the former number one overall pick, has been fine, but you know ha hasn't been that dude yet. Uh, Caleb Von Chase on the pride of LSU, uh, uh, LSU alum, just like Daniil, uh, been sort of disappointing, but can get in the rotation. Uh, you see Abdullah, I liked in the draft a lot. The uh, the Jaguars picked him up in the fifth round, uh, and then along the defensive line, they got M. Gotsis, the former Bronco, as well as uh, RRH Roy Robertson Harrison, uh, the former Bear, who I respect a lot. But I mean, they certainly could benefit from a, a guy like Daniil Hunter uh, along that front seven. Now, here's what's interesting. So the Jaguars, their second, third, and fourth round picks in the 2024 draft are technically locked up because of the Calvin Ridley trade uh, from the Falcons. Now, uh, it's currently a fourth round pick in compensation, but that could move to a three or, or two uh, depending on certain uh, factors that come into that. So Jacksonville can't trade a two, a three, or a four for Daniil, so it's going to cost you one. It's going to cost you a minimum a 2024 first round pick, and you know, the Vikings... 
Yeah, even if the Vikings are alive and kicking uh, at the tra- after the trade deadline, I mean, if Daniil isn't going to be part of this team long term, I-, I understand taking the step back and er, tanking, uh, but getting value for uh, Daniil when you can, as opposed to having him leave in free agency if you're not going to resign him, uh, and then having to wait till 2025 for a freaking third round pick. A- ain't going to do that. So uh, if the Vikings can pull off a deal where they get a first round pick, and no matter where the Vikings draft. I mean, if they're up at the top, if they're in the middle of the pack, or if they're at the bottom, two first-round picks will allow you to maneuver uh, and find your quarterback in the future no matter what. Remember, you know, back in 2017, the, the Chiefs trade up from 27 to 10 to get Mahomes, so it can be done. Uh, and in terms of the snaps that uh, Daniil would vacate, so you do have Davenport and – would you resign Davenport after this year? Remember, he's on a one-year, thirteen million dollar deal. Who knows? DJ Wam's going to be a free agent as well. Uh, PJ two is in year three. He's been relatively inefficient in his snaps this year. Andre Carter the second has been pretty efficient, although in very limited work. Uh, obviously, if Daniel was traded, I think that uh, the UDFA from Army would be getting uh, a bulk of that work uh, to take a look at the future. So we'll see. Like, you know, like, like Doogie alluded to. I mean, the Bears game hinges, a lot of it hinges on that. Same thing with the Niners game. And I, I do think that if the Vikings are in a spot, hell, I mean, even if the Vikings win out, even if the Vikings are 4-4 four and four at the trade deadline, if the right offer comes along, I think Quasey may do it. Because as value, valuable as Daniil Hunter is, he's your most valuable realistic trade asset. Since you're not trading JJ, you're not trading Kirk in all likelihood. So uh, moving Daniil at this point, and getting a first-round pick and getting yourself draft capital to go get your quarterback of the future or add some pieces, you're probably going to use it on an edge rusher that you hope is 70 cents on the dollar of Daniel Hunter. We'll see. We'll see, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Reportedly, the Jacksonville Jaguars are very interested in a Viking superstar edge rusher, Daniel Hunter. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.